Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel, Attacking All Night. We have another question to solve today. And the question we are solving today is on the topic, Matrix. Matrix, that is the topic we are solving today. And we are going to be doing justice to this particular question on the board. We are giving five values of T for which the determiner of this matrix is equal to zero. Anytime you are asked to find the determinant of anything, we are going to represent the whole. We are going to represent it in an enclosed absolute value. That means we are going to have position. We need to find the determinant of this. That means that we have t minus 4 is 0 is 0. I have minus 1 t plus 1, I have my 1, then I have 3, 4, t minus 2, that means I am going to do it like this, I will enclose it like this, and everything is equal to 0. There are some things that we have to put into consideration whenever you are finding the determinant of any particular thing. That means I'm going to have now plus, minus, plus. I have to put that into consideration. Now, I want to simplify further. For me to simplify further now, I am going to take the LDA. I'll first consider this. And if I consider this now, I will cover here. Then I will also cover this side. So I will now be left with this, this, and this again. So I will have T minus 1, T minus 4. Cover here, cover here. I'll be left with T plus 1. 4, 1, t minus 2. That means I'm still going to simplify this further. If I go further here, from here now, I am not going to have minus here is 0. I'll cover here, cover here, and I'll be left with minus 1, 3, and I have 1, t minus 2. I'll cover this side too. I'm going to have this side up. I have plus zero again. So I'm going to have this. I'll cover this. I'll cover this. I'll be left with minus one, three. I have t plus one, four. Now, yeah, well now I can now equate everything to zero. But I don't need to waste time on this particular thing. Because normally, this t minus four, we multiply everything inside here. Why this zero? We multiply everything inside here. The zero here too will multiply everything inside here. The zero multiplied by everything will give us a zero. So here, I'm going to have a zero. Here, I'm going to also have a zero. So there is no point writing them on the board since I know that I'm going to have a zero. So I can clean this side. Why I equate this to zero. So from here, I can now go further. I will see have this plus sign here, plus minus. Why this will multiply this and this will multiply this. So we have at the back from there, and we have this implies t minus 4 into this one will multiply this first. So I have t plus 1 into t minus 2. I can now consider this minus sign here. I have minus. And I have 1 into 4. Then I can close it. I can now equate everything to 0. Then I need to simplify what I have in the bracket. If I simplify the content of the bracket, I will have t minus 4 into, this one will give us t squared, minus 2t. I am going to have here plus t, minus 2, everything minus 4. Is now equal to zero. That will eventually give t minus four into. I can simplify this. If I simplify this, now we have t squared minus t minus. Then this one will give us minus six is equal to zero. Then let's see if we can actually simplify what we have in the bracket there. If we simplify it, I have t here. That means I'm going to factorize this particular quadratic equation inside the bracket. I have t, and I'm going to have 3, 
and two, which one will be negative? So this one should be negative. If that one is negative, that means I can now have minus two. That will give us, and if you multiply, you give that will give us that. So we have t minus four. Then this one will give us t squared minus three t minus two root t. Then I have minus six. Then we go to zero. Then I can now simplify things further. That means I will now have t minus four into t is common here. So I have t. T minus 3. What is common here? I have minus 2. 2 is common. So I have T minus 3 is now equal to 0. So my T minus 4 that is outside into, I can take this T minus 3. Then I consider this T minus 2 is now equal to 0. So I can now equate each bracket to 0. Then I can now get the value of my t so as you can see t we have three values now so the first one t minus four is equal to zero that means t is equal to four the second one t minus three is equal to zero that means my t now will now be three and the third one i have t minus two is equal to zero that means my t will now be equal to two so from the question we are asked to find the values of t so the values of t are t is equal to 4, or t is equal to 3, or t is equal to 2. This is the answer. We are going to stop here for now, and we'll take it off from here next time. God bless you. God bless me. We'll see you next time. We move.